I don't know, that's not a question for me to answer, it's more for people that I work with or, you know, I love women, I, I love the sense of style, I love what they do with their hair usually, makeup, clothes, the whole ensemble I find it very inspiring. So it's something, you know, I grew up in the 60s, so I've always had the tendency to like pretty much a lot of, you know, not always a lot of volume, but the same kind of volume that I think may, uh, maybe makes me known a little more for it, I'm not sure, but um, it's a hard question for me to answer. Uh, where do you get the inspiration from, like in creating yourself? Pretty much you answered that, but if you have anything to add. Yeah, well the thing is, you know, I, I, I find inspiration everywhere, you know, I can walk in the street, you know, like even like when we were walking in the street, I could just bump into someone that I know or not, that I might not know, that I find have an interesting style, and sometimes even if I don't like it, I might suddenly get something out of it. You know, it's something that happens most of the time in a very spontaneous way. You know, I first of all, I need to feel that that person is really ready for that change. When you don't feel that confidence from the person, because I can be confident myself by trying to convince, but you never want to impose anything. You want to propose, but not impose on that person. So, you know, it's a matter of feeling that that person will go with you in that change. Then you talk. You talk about the lifestyle, you talk about what is the reason why they want to change without getting into, you know, sometimes deeper details and just, you know, it might be just a very simple uh, look that they've seen on a runway or in a movie or on TV or in front of them, you know, just get their hair a certain way and they might want to try that and experience it. So, you know, conversation. Sometimes we damage our hair. Uh, what can we do for it to, uh, to look healthy if it's not really healthy? Can it look beautiful if it's not actually healthy? You know, I have a, you know, my philosophy is really healthy hair is glamorous hair. I've always said that. So, you know, that's why for me, like in my line, I don't have it here, but it's right there. But the, the treatment for me is important. You know, on your skin, if your skin is a little dry, if you go the sun, you protect your skin. Why don't we do the same thing for the hair? And I think it's really that kind of constant treatment that people have to get used to do. So, yes, the colors that we do today, all the products that we use to change our looks are way more gentle than they were you know, 20 years ago, but nonetheless, you still need to, you know, help your hair to try to get back that natural state that it might have had once. And I think, you know, a good pro product, a good treatment that you know will repair your hair. And the best cure for the dance with the scissors, right? You know, a, a nice little trim is always helpful, for sure, when, it's, you know, when we talk about split ends that are completely damaged and, and hard to repair but also you know if you don't want to get rid of your length the treatment should help to at least minimize it and to try to bring it back and I asked my viewers what they would like to know from you uh, and one of the most, the most popular questions would be uh, if I blow dry my hair in the morning I go out and it's raining outside how can I keep my hair straight and not go in the street well, listen, I think it's a problem for everybody, you know, the humidity, you know, get a good umbrella. <laughs> Make sure that, you know, the thing is, you know, there's always a few little tips, you know, great scarves, headbands, uh, protect your head. The thing is, you know, let's say you, you, if you do your hair dead straight right now, the weather is perfect, you go out and suddenly there's a big storm. Chances are, even if you have a great umbrella, the wind yeah. with the little particles of humidity yeah. will get to your hair. So the thing is, if yeah. you have, you know, of course, if you can plan it, uh, you could put a scarf on it, you can pull your hair back in a little a soft ponytail, put in the bun, it will give it a little movement, unfortunately, but it's better than having something completely frizzy at the end. Great, okay, thank you so much for your answers. That's pretty much it. Very good. That was really interesting it was, and helpful. It was a pleasure to meet okay. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
And now you're ready for your blow dry. Yeah. <laughs>